Hi, we're doing another lip injection on a beautiful woman who for many years I've uh, refused to inject her lips. You can see that she actually has beautiful lips to start with, but as we get older, even at a young age, you do notice that the lips tend to flatten out a little bit more. Certain times of year you see more lines showing up, and hyaluronic acids can replace some of the lost volume. It can actually provide some moisture to the lips, especially in the winter time. People's lips that chap, doing some HA fillers can provide some moisture and hydration because each of these molecules of Juvederm, Belotero, or Restylane attract up to 20 times their weight in water. So it creates more swelling, more hydration. Now, I'm not going to do too much to her lips. You can see that she's got full lips to start with, but we're going to give it a little bit more volume, perhaps a little bit more to the top lip. She's brought a picture of a model that she likes, and she wants to kind of replicate that a little bit more. You can see some stuff that's on her lips. That's my topical numbing. We've worked for years to develop the best topical numbing medication. We've changed it around many, many times. 5, 10, 15 years ago, we used to do a lot of dental blocks and numb up the entire face. Now it's extremely rare for me. Our topical numbing cream is so good that basically you don't need anything. Plus, I'm going to show you the long needle injection technique. The long needle injection technique actually looks scary. I've had patients tell me they talk them out of doing it because the needle looks so long and scary, but actually it hurts much less. There's much less pokes that you have to do, less injection sites, less bruising, less swelling, less everything and it's just a better technique, and I'm going to demonstrate that right now. Okay, so I have the Restylane. This is a 0.5 cc. We're not going to do too much again. We're going to do half a cc, um, and this is the 27 gauge, one quarter inch needle that you'll see. It's not blunt. The problem with the blunt tip needle, and I get a lot of people that ask me about cannulas. I use cannulas many times. I use it for many different locations. The problem with cannula is that it tends to want to go where it wants to go. The sharp needle, you can actually direct it exactly where you want to go, so different times, different situations call for different types of techniques. So we're going to demonstrate that right now. So I'm going to have you just leave your lips open just so. And what I'm going to do is I'm rolling my finger back. I'm going to start penetrating right here. Do you feel much? Yeah. Good. And as I'm going forward, I'm injecting. So my right finger is pushing down on the plunger. And as I'm going forward, I'm injecting. And I go, and I can actually see and feel right where the tip of the needle is. And check to see how much I'm placing. And then as I'm pulling back, I'm injecting as well. It's a very slow fill. You can actually see it fill. Right there. There's Partly any bleeding, there's zero bruises, looks nice, I'm going to massage it in a second. We're going to switch to the other side. Same thing. For a right-handed surgeon, the right and left side are going to be a little bit different. So you're going to use your non-dominant hand, for me, my left hand, a little bit differently. Same thing. Penetrating, slowly injecting it. I know exactly where the tip of the needle is, cognizant of where the neurovascular structures of the lip are, so we don't get intravascular injection. Now I'm pulling back, and you can see it fill up right there. And how much I place is confirmed visually. I can see exactly how it fills up. I don't need to necessarily check how much I've injected because I see the results. Now you can see the top lip it's now smoother than the bottom lip. If you actually pay attention, you see all these little wrinkles in the bottom lip where it's smoothed out on the top lip. That's one of the effects of fillers. That's actually one way of telling people if they've had fillers or not, the lip gets smoother, the wrinkles get a little smoothed out. I'll do the bottom now, while I'm on this side. Again, injecting forward, anterior grade, as I'm penetrating the lip. Any pain? Pretty good, huh? No dental block, no screaming, she's tolerating it very well. You can see again, this half of the lip, smooth that a little bit more. Switching back to this side, you can see it immediately. Now this side is a little bit smoother, and the wrinkles on this side are more prominent. Now again, it depends on your dominance. My left hand is going to go around, just to make things more comfortable for myself. You want to make sure as the surgeon, you're comfortable. If you're not comfortable, if you're feeling awkward in your injection position, you're not going to be able to do a good job.
I don't see a single drop of blood. It looks really good. There is no bruising. There is hardly any swelling. Now I look at it. I leave a little bit. I'm going to fine tune and then I can see that her lips, this side right there is a little bit lacking volume right in that area. So I'm going to fine touch it with the 29 gauge. So this is the more traditional technique and this may bleed a little bit more, but it's important in her. Let's see that little area. A little bit drop there. A little drop there. I'm going to massage it. Make sure it's perfectly smooth. There's not a single lump that I feel. See this area right there still needs a little bit more. So much more symmetric. As I look over here, there's a little tiny drop right in this corner. This again can bleed with this. So much better. And a tiny little drop on this side. And we're done. And you can take the picture from the front. If the camera moves over directly in front of the patient, you can actually see it's fuller, it's nicer. There's obviously going to be a little bit of swelling, it's going to settle down, but there's no bruising. She can put on lipstick, she can go out the door, she can go back out tonight, or immediately afterwards go to lunch, and she should be fine. And that's again the long needle technique. I'm Dr. Naderi in the Greater Washington, D.C. area. Thanks.